What's up everyone, my name is Dak and welcome back to another video. Today, I want to talk about Zelda. And I want to answer the question, well, what now? Just a few months ago, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom released. And it is the most recent huge Zelda game of the moment. In fact, I was first in line in Mexico. You can check out the video right here. So I was the first Mexican to ever buy the game. But that's besides the point. I, I want to talk about what's the next step for the Legend of Zelda franchise. Because as of right now, there is no big game like on the way. Not that we need one at the moment because Tears of the Kingdom is great and it will probably win Game of the Year. But it did create the question, what now? And I think that as of right now, as the time that this video is going to be out, there are two main possibilities. The first one of course being a DLC announced later this year that will release in 2024. Pause it right there! Um, so by the time I was editing this video, uh, IGN posted that AG Anuma has already stated that there won't be any DLC for the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, so I'm just going to fast forward to this section. Uh, please continue enjoying the video, bye! Woo! The main thing that I want to talk about is what games of the Legend of Zelda franchise are going to release on the Nintendo Switch. Here's why I think these two are coming to a Nintendo Switch. Now I've talked about these two in a very recent video that I released uh, of the Nintendo Switch must ports. However, uh, I want to talk a little bit more about these two right now. Um, so yeah, we got Skyward Sword HD, and then we got The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And what the two games that people are asking Nintendo to put on Nintendo Switch are The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD and The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. And I think that the only reason why Nintendo has not put these two amazing Zelda games on the console is because they didn't want to let the hype for the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom die out. Because they wanted to focus so much on the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, and they wanted all their attention on the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And now that game is out, sure, it will probably have DLC, but if Nintendo wants to keep putting Zelda games on the Nintendo Switch, because I think they already said that they're not going to release a third game with the same map, so... Uh, uh, the Lane of Zelda in the Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom universe, that, that, that story is closed and they will not go further into that world where the next big Zelda game is going to be a brand new one, a new Hyrule, a new everything, new graphics, new mechanics, all of it is going to be new. So with no big Zelda new game on the horizon, there's nothing stopping Nintendo from now to fill the gaps between the new release on the new Nintendo console that's going to be announced in who knows when, because the next big Zelda game will most likely be for the new console. But to fill up the gaps, they're going to release these two games. I, I just know it. I know that they will release The Lane of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD, and The Lane of Zelda Twilight Princess HD on the Nintendo Switch because now that there's nothing in their way, there's nothing stopping them from actually putting these games. There's literally nothing stopping them now, there's no big Zelda game that's stopping them, it's just filling the gaps between the new Zelda game for the next Nintendo console, so that's why they're going to release the Lone Zelda Twilight Princess HD and the Lone Zelda the Wind Waker HD in the following years. Uh, this is not a fact, this is a theory, but I think it's a very believable theory. Now that that said, uh, I also want to talk about the possibility of having this two on the Nintendo Switch. That you're crazy, yeah I know, having the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask on the Nintendo Switch not being the N64 version but an enhanced version of the 3D versions of the game, like having this to uh, remade for the Switch, that, that's crazy talk, that's crazy talk, or is it? Because with Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon already announced for the Nintendo Switch, Nintendo is proving that you can easily port a 3DS game 
to the Nintendo Switch. And, and ever since the GameCube, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and The Legend of Zelda uh, Majora's Mask do not have an enhanced mode for the TV. Sure, you can play it on the Wii U Virtual Console. Sure, you can play it on the Nintendo Online, uh, but that's the N64 version. There's no way of playing The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D or The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. Uh, on a bigger screen. There's no way on, unless you want to emulate, but no, we, we do not want to emulate here. So, if Nintendo gives The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D and The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D, the enhancement that they are giving Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon for the Nintendo Switch, like porting the 3DS version to the Nintendo Switch with better graphics. I mean, I mean that That seems like a no-brainer. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time is considered to be one of the best video games of all time. If not the best video game of all time, according to some informers. And The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask is my personal favorite video game of all time. Yes, not only of the Zelda franchise, but my favorite video game of all time. That's The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask for me. So having the possibility to have all 3D Zelda games on the Nintendo Switch because we're only missing well these four games we're only missing these four in order to have all the 3D Zelda games on the Switch because we already have Skyward Sword we already have we already have Breath of the Wild Tears of the Kingdom and the only other 3D Zelda games that we're missing are those four So anyways, that's my theory. I, I, I do believe that after Nintendo releases Twilight Princess and the Wind Waker HD on the Nintendo Switch, they are going to close the Nintendo Switch era with Ocarina of Time and or Majora's Mask um, on the Nintendo Switch as an enhanced version. Now that they are doing enhanced ver versions of 3DS games on the Nintendo Switch. That's my theory. I, I really hope Nintendo takes this approach. Uh, for me, that's going to be everything for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. See ya, have a damn good one.